Do I use Zacharina now, or...? Yes. Yeah, okay. I mean... You could just stay down here in the basement forever. Well, I, I'd rather not. It's a non-canon ending, but you could... <laughs> Alright, so up to the sky then, or was there something else going on? Y yup, up to the sky. So, at the moment, even though I'm inclined to think otherwise, we're forced to presume that Rose is dead. Because she probably wouldn't Perhaps be let because she probably wouldn't let go of her ocarina without a fight. But I have a feeling we'll be seeing her again later. Hold on. I forgot about you. Haha. <laughs> One more heart container. Yep. Uh which is fitting because I ended up going the wrong way anyway. So might as well find that. Alright, so up we go! So. Mentio blue tunic was removed because I couldn't balance well enough around it. I was wondering I, I was wondering if I had missed something by not getting that. Yeah, balancing around tunics is weird because it's essentially doubling your number of heart containers. Yeah. So it gets in the situation where if you balance around having it and the player doesn't find it, it's impossibly difficult. Exactly. But if you balance around not having it and the player does find it, then the quest is trivial from that point. So it just... It, it, I'm not a skilled enough designer to... Hello, Rose. Okay, then. Alex, I promise I'm going to find you again. I just need to survive today. Rose? Link, how'd you find me? How'd you get up here? Your ocarina, it brought me up here somehow. How did you get here? I don't know. I fell into the blowhole and dropped the ocarina. Then there was a loud noise and a bright flash, and then suddenly I was standing on a cloud. This place is amazing, though. A whole civilization living in the sky. And I think I understand now. These are the people who used to live on Palm Island. They're the ones that left all the ruins behind. Rose, hold on a minute. After you fell in the blowhole, Chase is dead. What? Dracus showed up in the village and killed him in front of everybody. I... I see. Link. I'm done running. Huh? I've been running all day. No, all my life. From Dracus, from home. I'm done. I'm not going to run away and let Dracus do this. We're going to stop him. And Link? Yeah? Never mind. I'll tell you later. Anyways, these people up here, the Elysians, they have to have something we can use to fight Dracus. If they can live in the clouds, then surely they've got some kind of advanced weapon or magic or something we can use. I agree. Let's start looking. I'm way ahead of you there. I found this key up here. Yeah, the one that I found originally. That was just lying up here. You find whatever door that opens, and I'll keep looking around. Meet me by that giant tower to your left once you get whatever that key unlocks. Or, oh. Wait, so was that the same key that I had before? That that I found up here? No, this is the okay. this is the other key. Ah, the one that I was never able to find. All right, that works. Uh, and that's the way up to the tower. So I don't want to go there just yet. No, there's a spot with Lionels, I believe, that gave me another heart container. So I should probably find so that along the way. Actually, hmm? There are two spots with Lionels up here that give you a heart container. Oh, really? I noticed you found both of them, but you didn't actually kill the Lionels in one of them. Probably because I assumed it was the same one that I found the first time. Very possible. Okay, 
Wait, do I have the key for this place now? Maybe. Yes, it is. Cloud Top Sanctum. Oh, what the heck is this? This is fun land. This is pain and suffering. I'm sorry. Can I at least kill one of you. Well, I got a heart back. Oh, these stupid guys! <laughs> yup, these guys. I, I'm sorry. I don't know what I was smoking when I scripted these things. Well, at least the uh, the magnet stuns them, though. And I think he's about to... Uh, I think I glitched him out. They do that sometimes, and I don't know why they decided they didn't want to touch the ground again. I just compensated by making them explode into fireworks. <laughs> oh, oh, no, wait, I see. You glitched him out in an entirely new way. Oh, oh, boy, well ZC, what are you doing? Well, <laughs> that's um, that's a new one. Well, I can still reach him. I can still reach him. <laughs> hey, enemies with shots that I can block. Oh, I just now saw the timer. Yup. You still got time, though, I think. I'm under a minute. Um. Okay, I got the potion off in time. Cracko, what the heck are you doing here? <laughs> well, I had Kirby music, I had to have a Kirby boss. Oh, jeez. And yeah, I, I and, guess just <laughs> and I died. Yay. Uh, oh, sorry. Dear. With this guy, it's best to just sta hmm? stand in one place and fire arrows kind of rhythmically at him. Yeah, I was trying to do that, but he's firing shots at me, too. Well, now that I know that I can block your shots, stupid bat, I thought it was the thing. I thought it was the Candles were firing shots at me that, for that first phase. So now that I am more aware of things, the rest of this should go by a lot quicker. Mm. You know what? <sighs> Screw this noise. I'm moving back to the dang keyboard. This will this will probably work better for me. <laughs> the thing, one thing that sucks about being able to use the controller, it's because I'm using a, a an N64 controller, and it's forcing me to use the analog stick. Ooh! If uh, I if I could if I could use N64. Hmm? Oh, uh, it's uh, I have a I have a converter for U uh, N64 to USB. Huh? I did have one that was actually a legitimate N64 straight up USB controller, but that one kind of. The buttons are starting to stick, and I don't have a screwdriver small enough to fit into the screws. 
to see what's going on, uh, if there's something going on with the internals or something. Gotcha. But I have, I actually have an N64 on hand and a couple controllers that have lasted me 15 years or more. So, you might as well. <laughs> Makes sense. I'm impressed by how long those things last. But I guess old Nintendo hardware is basically indestructible. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember the one Game Boy that lasted through being bombed in Pearl Harbor. No, not Pearl Harbor, uh... <laughs> Uh, go for. Yeah, that was. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Thank goodness I still have a potion left. Now my bigger concern is running out of arrows. So, if you run out of arrows, you will never actually completely run out for this fight. It limits you to having one arrow so that you don't get stuck in an unwinnable situation against him. Well, that's nice. And got him! Nice! Not not a heck of a lot of time left, and that's, boss is... that's the third ruin piece. And another heart container, okay. Whew. This boss is interesting, because about half the players had no trouble with him, and half thought he was awful. And then he got a nomination for Boss of the Year, which really confused me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm just gonna F6 so I can at least have full health for the moment. And I don't Makes have it because I don't have enough arrows to buy another potion right now. What do you have to say again? Oh, oh my, a land dweller up in the clouds? This is most unusual. No less. I fell off a nearly invisible path. The safety committee decided having nearly invisible paths in the first place was a stupid decision, and they were all repaved. How do you pay? Yeah. How do you pay taking... that sort of thing? Yeah, that's taking a shot at myself. In the original version of this quest, those floating rock platforms that you step on weren't there. There were like tiny little tells showing where the paths were, and it was really, 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 really stupid. Yep. There's oh, that one. Not, not my, not my brightest moment. Uh, the I I know what it's like to of game balance issues, but the one specific case of it was self-inflicted. I'm sure longtime fans fondly remember the rant that I went on in Castles of Peril. And it was all self-inflicted because I was a dumb and in my exploration, I found level 8 before level 7, and I decided, screw it, I'm going to see if I can beat level 8 now. <laughs> and things, things went bad, I got upset, and it turns out that the there was, a, I believe, an armor, if not also a sword upgrade on the way to level 7. And then when I actually went that through level 8, I stormed through with no problems whatsoever. So there you go. <laughs> Although uh, the, like quite the adventure. Yeah, though the uh, TK, he he was kind of beating himself up over that. Though I I say time and again, it was my own fault. You shouldn't be sequence breaking unless you know what you're doing. 
Yeah, if it's possible to sequence break, some people will. If they have a hard time, it's kind of on them at that point. Yeah, yeah and like I said, it was my own dang fault for trying to do that. But, oh well, what's done is done. Alright, so, uh, I've already got more heart containers than I ever had. Uh, so I have all three ruined pieces for whatever significance that'll have later on. I am sure they'll probably do something. Ah. Damn it, Lucis, don't walk away from me! If what you say is true, then I have preparations to make. I've wasted enough time listening to your angry rantings. Urgh. You're only proving my point, Dracus. You allow yourself to get so focused on one single thing that you can't even see what you've become. You can't hide in there forever, Lucis! This ends tomorrow! And poof. Uh, was there something up here? No, there wasn't. Alright. Um. Oh! Hello, Rose. Yes, yes, I did find that particular door. Uh, yeah, I actually, I remember where I had to go for those three ruined pieces. I also know that they only show up during. I think they only show up at night? Yeah, only at night. I'm starting to. I'm starting to remember this particular place. This place is rather complicated. This is, I think, the most complex dungeon I've ever made. Yeah, this would be a little hard to top. Although I think my, I think my biggest gripe is the hit detection on these on these moving platforms. Yeah. Everyone told me don't try moving platforms, but I wanted to try them anyway. I shouldn't have tried them. Well, I've some... learned my lesson. I know as well as anyone, sometimes you have to learn things the hard way. Yup. Oh, but these. I thought wind robes were bad to begin with. I so enjoy these wind robes. It, it it's weird when you're getting suplexed by a by a whirlwind. <laughs> I mean, perhaps it's a bit nonsensical, but I wanted them to be slow moving and I wanted them to be scary, and they could have just done a lot of damage. But I felt like there had to be some kind of visual effect to drive home the these are scary, don't mess with them. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, you certainly did that, and I realize I can't go this way. I... Mm. <sighs> okay. I'm trying to remember what was where, but it's not really working too well. Oh, it kind of sucks that no. Normally, I would have this, the like the bottom row of tiles in a room being a safe spot that I can use, but not here. <laughs> not here. And here's where I first encounter these lovely guys. <laughs> they're just so excited. They're jumping for joy. But they seem to drop health as reliably as any other dark nuts. So. Oh, yay. 
meant here, yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, his comments in the, the the chat, they're commenting on the Rose following you around. He's describing it as the adventures of Lincoln Rose, penalty of jank. <laughs> uh, if anything, it, it's reminding me of Link's Awakening, really. Oh, jeez, these, oh, these lovely guys. Alright, so what was up here again? Right, right, right. Uh, so I do have a key, but I don't think I want to use it there just yet. I want to see what else I can do around here. Yeah, you're gonna need two keys to go down that pathway, so mm. find one more and you should be good. Yeah, it seems kind of appropriate that I I started playing uh, Binding of Isaac sometime after doing. Uh, uh, Isle of Rebirth, and it was only then that I really recognized who Krampus was. Yup. And I, and I bring that up because these, uh, the homing shot whiz robes are reminding me of, uh, the adversary. Yeah, so believe it or not, I have never actually played Isaac. I know a lot about it, but I didn't know of the adversary when I scripted those things. Ah. But as soon as Moosh and Evan beta tested this, they started having like bad Isaac flashbacks, and I knew I'd stumbled onto something bad. <laughs> well, I have two keys. So... so... So, Nate Sakara, I may have had the script before you had yours, but I can almost guarantee you your script is better. <laughs> this one is kind of awful. And I only notice now that during... when I'm being pulled over by the, uh... by the magnets, he and Rose are holding hands. That's, uh, yeah, that's another I neat little detail. And I fell down a hole. Yeah, I... Oh, this hole was mean, I'm sorry. The thing is, I don't think I ever fell down that hole before, so... Yeah. Ah. I killed one of you if I can <laughs> limit you to one enemy in a room that would be nice now I have to you know what I got hit but I was able to get the uh I was able to get the uh, magnet where I needed it to go, so that's fine. If it works! Yep, and 10 arrows. And I. Uh, 10 arrows that made me fall down the pit again! <laughs> I'm sorry, that trick was so mean. <laughs> 
Thing is, I could have sworn I had picked those arrows up before the first time go around and I didn't fall down the pit, so it makes me wonder what I did differently. <laughs> yeah, I was... In the original two-week version of this quest, I had a situation like that that happened accidentally where when you picked up a map on a conveyor, it dumped you into a pit, and I thought it was so funny, I had to intentionally recreate it. Well, at least with, uh, with a map, that's actually a significant item. Okay. Yeah. And the fact that I'm when I'm being pulled over by the magnet, I am invincible. And I think maybe I see why I didn't pick up those arrows. Maybe, I want to say maybe I didn't even bother killing that thing in the first place. Possibly. And I don't know if I should be changing polarities now or wait until later, but I just did, so whatever. Doing it now doesn't hurt. Uh, there's one more key I'll want to find, but you can get it in night or day, so... Ah, I can get through here. Oh, jeez. There's no way for me to... Well, that works. Have both... Wizard robes spawn in the same spot. Sure, why not? Alright, I'm getting the wand in here later. Well, actually, pretty soon. Oh, the timing. Thought if I all right, so now I just have to tie this, which I did somehow. There we go. One thing I want to say I figured out, if you, if memory serves, if you F6 in a certain time frame, whether it's day or night, when you, sp when you spawn back in the entrance, it'll still be day or night regardless of where you were in the dungeon, in the place itself, I believe. Does it really? That... I like mean, say, like that say, sounds if, like the kind of oversight I would make. But. Uh, <laughs> though actually, I should, I can't do this yet. So, like, if I were to F six now, when I go into at the entrance, it will still be night, if memory serves. <sighs> huh. Oh, that... Well, that would allow for some sequence breaking. A little bit, yeah. Though I'm wondering if I'm even going where I'm supposed to be going at the moment. Um, right now, you probably want to head back. You have everything you need to grab the wand at this point. Okay, and I don't remember where that was. But there, I can hit this <laughs> switch at least. Well, let's let's test my theory out here real quick. No, no, no. I was wrong. 
Uh, over here it is day. Okay. Okay, so what? Straight. Was it upstairs on this end of things? I forget. Yeah, at least I'm assuming yes. A little far behind, but I think I know what direction you're headed. Press down and it shifts me over to the right just enough to send me over the dang edge. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yes. this. This, uh. I guess this is why I don't mind being gridlocked very much. Because at least then. I don't have to worry about. I, it, fe it feels like it's better for precision, maybe? Yeah, I was reading something about the way eight-way movement works with, you know, switching directions. Oh, uh, dear, things are getting a little quiet. overloaded. Of course, it doesn't help well. Boomerang, fairy, thank you. There we go, okay. Dang, well you fought off a small army pretty efficiently. Uh... I've, I've dealt with, uh, with summoners before, can you tell? <laughs> Just slightly. And there's the wand. <laughs> 